What is up all you awesome streamers? We're back for part two of Streamlabs Tips and Tricks. Now, if you haven't had a chance to check out part one, gonna do you a favor and put it in the top right corner, right there. Recommend checking it out because it's got some awesome tips, but let's just get right into the video. Hey, real quick before we begin, this whole channel is all about helping you be bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. We do tips, tricks, tutorials, and even give you general inspiration to help you be the best streamer you can be. We love to have you join the community, so do us a favor, hit that big red subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when our videos go live for you. Using the layout editor in Streamlabs OBS. When it comes to the layout editor, it's an exclusive feature available on Streamlabs OBS. You can use it to completely personalize your Streamlabs OBS editor. Choose which components you see and how much information you want when you stream. I personally think the layout editor is best suited to organize your stream flow. Put things in the precise spot that's gonna be best for you to make your channel streamline. Using Studio Mode in Streamlabs OBS. Studio Mode essentially allows you to customize a scene while you're live before your viewers can see it. When you click on Studio Mode, two screens will appear. On the left side, you will see a scene you can adjust, and on the right side, you will see a screen your viewers see. Entering Studio Mode can be useful if you want to change or adjust the sources in a specific scene without letting your viewers see it. Studio Mode allows you to make adjustments seamlessly on the fly without disrupting the flow of your stream. To enter Studio Mode, simply click on the icon in the lower left-hand corner of Streamlabs OBS. Nudging your sources. This tip is super simple, but can be extremely effective in improving your overall quality of life when using broadcasting software. If you're struggling to align a source in a perfect position, nudging it can help you make precise adjustments. To nudge a source, simply click on the source you want to adjust and press the arrow keys to move it one pixel at a time. If you have an overlay that specifically designates where a certain source should appear, nudging your source makes it super simple to perfectly align any of your sources. How to crop a source in Streamlabs OBS. Cropping your source is a very simple tip. Cropping any asset is extremely useful if you want to adjust sources like your web camera. To crop a source, Hold down the Alt key before clicking on it and then drag the points to the desired position. Sometimes the simplest tips are the best tips. If you have an awesome Streamlabs OBS tip or perhaps you want us to make a part three of tips and tricks, do us a favor and leave a comment down below and help out the community. Until then, I wanna wish you the best luck using Streamlabs OBS and I'm gonna do you a favor and toss a couple of videos here up on screen. It's gonna make you even better. Wild for Games wishing you the best of luck, and as always, take care, and of course, peace.